Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. Uh, since Dread Delusion was so long, I wanted to do some one-shots this week. Just try to get out four or five one-shot videos and hopefully be able to release like a short uh, 30 minutes. Um, I know one of them is like three hours, but short compared to Dread Delusion. Uh, get out some videos this week and uh, yeah, be able to uh, just consistently post this week. Um, since it is the first video of the month, I wanted to ask you guys if you could do me a favor. Uh, if you can, if you like the video, uh, if you like my content, go down and subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, uh, leave a comment, let me know what's on your mind, uh, what you guys are thinking, uh, what I could do better, what I'm doing bad, anything like that. Uh, all of that helps engagement, all of that helps me meet new people uh, and grow my channel. Um, which is what I'm I'm trying to do. Uh, I, my goal is kind of to hit 100 subscribers. I've been doing this for a while now, and I'm still sub 100 subscribers. Uh, so if you guys don't mind helping me out, that would be lovely, and I would really appreciate it. All right, uh, let's get into it. Uh, this is Void Whispers from Eduardo Scarpato. Um, I haven't watched any playthroughs, uh, playthroughs of this, but I saw that Mr. Craven did a playthrough, um, and I saw that uh, one of my online friends had done a playthrough. Um, so I'll link to those videos in the description. Let's get into it. The universe is a pretty big place. If it's just us, seems like an awful waste of space. Carl Sagan. Mr. Badass is in town. Okay, we've got movement. Uh, F is for flashlight. Can I run? I can't run. Well, I can jog. It's not really a run. My character is so sluggish. Where am I going? Jogging by moonlight. Oh, invisible wall. Uh, is there a path that I missed? There is a path that I missed. Cosmo. Changing scenes. Uh, what's that outside? All right. Uh, can I interact with anything? can sit in the chair. Is there anything else that I can interact with? The Black Cat, March 1896. Can I? I can. Uh, five cents. All right, so we can zoom in on things. What is that? What are we supposed to do with that? Radio station, this is your main device. You have three main buttons. News, get the content of a signal. Broadcast, talk to the public. Music, mute, unmute music. Keep your eyes peeled for alert lights. Synchronization. To extract the contents of a signal, you first need to tune into the station. This involves adjusting the values and observing the noise level. As you get closer to the correct spot, the noise should increase. When you reach it, a light indicator should turn on. So we need to find uh, a station and then press the button and then that'll download the thing. Vinyl player. Put the record on and press the button. Before removing a record, you need to stop the vinyl player. Tenna calibrator. The uh, speed at which you receive the content of a signal depends heavily on the alignment of the antennas. Therefore, you should ensure the antennas are correctly positioned. Pay close attention to the light indicator. 
Generator should only be used in emergency outside. It is located. Uh, the generator should only be used in emergency situations. It is located outside to the right side of the station. Hello. 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 Hello there. Your mic, correct? Uh, can I say something? Nice to meet you. I'm William, the one who was at this post before you. I'll be guiding you through the basics of our operation. Our task here is rather straightforward, old chap. We're in charge of broadcasting music and news for the townsfolk. This equipment in front of you is your main focus. It's where you receive news from Haddon Central, communicate with the public and control the music. So we've got William and Michael, which I believe are FNAF references. Uh, we've got Haddon, which I believe is a um, Halloween reference. Speaking of music, you have a splendid vinyl player on your right. Simply place a record on top and push the button. Right. Seems easy enough. There are a few other things you'll need to keep an eye on, but I'll let you discover those for yourself. You know, one only truly learns by doing. But if you feel lost, there's a broadcast manual right beside you for reference. Yeah, I've seen that. In any case, have a good night, and I'll be keeping watch over things. Hmm. Hmm. Good evening, citizens of Cosmo City. I am your new voice on the airwaves, here to bring you the latest news and music to your home. I hope we can have a great time together, so keep your dials locked to Cosmo Radio for all you need. Let's enjoy the night. I should play something now. I'm all alone in a palace of stone. Where's the trash can? Somewhere, someone is sorry today. One of the many fools who sold her love for two. Somewhere, someone is pining away. And if you were there tonight, you'd hear her say. Is there a way to know what the frequency is? Okay, there we go.
Astronomers have stumbled upon a new and peculiar planet in our solar system, christened Nova. What adds to the mystery is that this planet appeared seemingly out of thin air just a week ago. I don't think planets do that. Nova is a gas planet, but what sets it apart is a curious feature. An enigmatic, eye-shaped formation on its surface. That just sounds like an eyeball. This discovery is poised to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, and there is still much more to unravel. So, stay tuned for further updates on this groundbreaking development. I'm all alone in a palace of stone Down in the city of fear Honor thy father and mother I learned that when I was a kid. I've always obeyed, but I'm not afraid to tell you I'm sorry I did. I'm not throwing stones at my daddy. I'm not finding fault with my mom. But when they went and picked me a husband, they went a little too far. Hello, hello. Hello? I'd like to request a song, if that's okay. Do you happen to have one hour with you? It would be absolutely perfect for tonight. I'm having trouble sleeping, and this song always helps me relax. Oh, absolutely. One Hour With You is on its way. Thank you for the great suggestion. Thank you so much. I hope now I can finally rest. Bye. All right, so stop the music. I said stop the music. Uh... One hour with you. In fact, it's a relaxing song. So why are we broadcasting the radio from what appears to be a shed in the woods? everything. I thought I heard it in there. There it goes. Does it have anything to do with the eye planet? There's a significant 
significant amount of light flickering, accompanied by an eerie sound. It's quite unsettling. You, you just have to calibrate. I can't say that on the radio. Hmm. Well, that was certainly an unusual report. In any case, stay tuned as we attempt to gather more information about the strange event and its impact on the central area. Mike out. Got in one. Kind of behaviors. Furthermore, there are reports of creatures twisted and contorted into grotesque forms roaming the streets. It's utter chaos out there. Utter chaos. Defend yourselves. We, we implore everyone to remain indoors. Secure your door. All right, generator time. Oh shit, I think there must be a generator outside. Does that count as um, Chekhov's generator since it was mentioned in the manual? My girlfriend and I have been watching through Leverage and Leverage Redemption. And she always points out the uh, the foreshadowing, the setups. It's Chekhov's checkbook. Hello, hello. Mike, thank heavens you're still with us. It's me, William. Something terribly amiss is unfolding out here. I'm afraid. I can't quite put my finger on it, but the situation appears dire. I must impart two crucial pieces of information to you. Firstly, there's a bunker across the road nestled in the heart of the forest. Leave the station, cross the street, and turn right. You'll discover a path weaving through the woods. Follow it, and you'll locate the bunker. Now, here's the second matter. You have the power to save numerous lives. I'm detecting multiple radio signals, precisely four, directed toward the station. This intel could be life-saving, so I implore you, broadcast these final messages to the townsfolk. But do it quickly. Your generator is running low on fuel, and you must reach the bunker before it depletes entirely. I'm placing my trust in you, Mike.
Keep safe, and I'll rendezvous with you on the other side. Uh, you have five minutes of energy left. Let's turn that off. Fifty... Fifty-six-ish? Fifty-seven. Are there multiple endings to this game? Or is it just a fail state? Alright, one... I don't think it is. Why do you sound like Father Garcia? Is this that, um, what was the ARG? The Sun Vanished? Is this the Sun Vanished universe? Three more signals. Isn't broadcasting this over the airwaves going to let the creatures know where people are bunkering? Two more signals. Can you stop that? I'm going to turn you off. I said I'm going to turn you off. Mid fifties. There it is. Thought I heard it beeping. I think I should broadcast that. One more signal. We're 
long way. Is it just, um, is that just the dead mouse mask? Is dead mouse an alien? We out. That was the last one. I now must hurry to the bunker. My flashlight is not working. Where's this path through the woods? can't jump this. Over there. There's a creature staring at us, though. Hi, dead mouse. How you doing? You gonna follow us back to our bunker? That seems safe. Let's go have a sleepover with Dead Mouse. Flashlight is not working. Right. Is is this an ending or what's going on? All right then. Game by Edward Scarpato. That was good. I like that. All your effort have proven worthwhile. Your information helps citizens survive, even if you didn't succeed. Months and years have passed, and humanity is slowly fading away, despite all the precautions taken. Creating underground colonies, the predator is far superior to our small force. Our sky will never be the same again. That eye in the midst of the stars will forever be watching us, ensuring the elimination of all who dare to enter its field of vision. We are left in the sea of uncertainties, in the midst of the, the cosmos. Like a civilization that attracted too much attention and is now paying the price. The reason uh, why our universe is silent uh, is evident before us. Ending one of three. What are the other endings? Making horror games is my passion. If you want to support my work so I can keep doing what I love the most, you can uh, become a patron for only $1 and get some exclusive benefits. All right. Uh, I'm going to cut it there, um, but yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, the aesthetic uh, is pretty cool. The little darkness and the um, the uh, shader that you use to create that kind of um, uh, dirty effect is really good. Uh, I liked the, um, the gameplay loop, the finding the frequencies. Um, I would like to see a little bit more of the um uh moving around the station because all you really have is the adjust the antenna uh thing where you go up and you you click on it and it says adjusting uh calibrating whatever um i would love to see uh, a little bit more done in the actual uh broadcasting station let me get out of this real quick the music is good but i'm trying to talk here 
Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more done around the actual station, um, being able to like interact with things. Um, it just kind of seemed like a shed in the woods and that wasn't really aesthetically pleasing. Uh, I'd like a little bit more like stuff in the station, um, a little bit more lived in a little bit more like realistic. Uh, and then, um, the creature has kind of like a silly face, the, the dead mouse face, uh, with the, the two eyes and the big smile. Um, I like to see a little bit more like creativity put into the, the design of the monster. Um, just so that it's not just like a, a smiling face, which, uh, every big thing, um, seems to use nowadays. Can you focus on me, please? There we go. All right. Uh, so yeah, th those are my thoughts on the game. Um, let me know if you'd like to see the other endings. I can go back and get some more endings. All right. I'm going to get out of here and start working on the next video. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you again for joining me in the dark for another night of strange and scary games. Uh, I love you. I'll see you in the next video. You all have a good night.